And the panel made up of Davis Sanchez, right. Matt Dunnigan, as well as Jim Barker. And look at those defending champs go. Mm -hmm. Now 5-0 and for the first time since wow. 2000. And really, this was a game of two halves. And for the Calgary Stampeders, unfortunately, weren't able to hang on at the end there. The Alouettes outscoring them 15 to nothing in that fourth quarter. Davis, what did we learn about Montreal on this Saturday night? Yeah, the Alouettes made a statement. They, they are, and they came out today and said, we are the best team in the CFL, and it's undisputed. They, they, they let the rest of the league know. And after, as this game went on, trailing by 14 points, then Dwayne Ford mentioned it in the booth. He said you could see the confidence of a team that's won 13 in a row and knows how to win. It started with two minutes and 55 seconds left. They're down by two. Calgary has the ball at midfield. A huge play by Beverett to get them off the field right there, get them off the field. Montreal gets the ball back, the big play to Phil Pot to get them down the field. A couple of plays later they get it in the end zone but a, a team that when you're down by 14 things are going against you on defense on special teams and on offense finding ways to get it done this is the best team in the CFL yeah and they're proving it from week to week and it's good to see a team like this that's built so well inside out and and Jim we talked about it he gave Danny Machocha a lot of a lot of kudos uh, prior to this football game just putting it together a team that that is, is finding ways to win. What did you say, Davis? You said this team can finish. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and they certainly did, and they flipped the script, and we talked about it. And uh, it, it, it's, a, it's this thing of beauty uh, about guys just trusting in the system. And uh, – it was 20. <laughs> and finish in different ways, too. I mean, defense, whatever they need to do to win, they're doing it. Yeah, a team that had given up 18.3 points a game, best in the league. Um, they'd given up 23 in the first half, held Calgary and flipped the script to three points in the second half. And uh, that's making a big time statement uh, defensively. Offensively, it was Fletcher making plays, Speaker making a big touchdown throw, and Cody beating the blitz a couple times, and Phil Pot, like he's been doing all year, doing his thing. Really impressed by this football team and uh, and how they get it done as a unit. And let's one more thing, you got to think about David Cote going out almost like in pregame. And then what did the, the Jose Maltos comes in and goes three for three? Those are important nine points in the ball game right there, and huge for for this football team playing complimentary football. Well, and that's testament to their depth. Mm -hmm. But good teams find ways to win games. Maybe they shouldn't. They turn the ball over three times. Yeah. I and mean, they haven't done that all year. Mm -hmm. But good teams find ways to win. Mm -hmm. Not so good teams find ways to lose games. Maybe they should have an opportunity to win. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what happened tonight. Mm -hmm. They have them back on the 20-yard line up by one point um, and uh, two minutes to play. And they get a second and four. And again, a veteran, Trey Roberson, jumps the route, gets beat deep. And within 20, the next 25 seconds, the throw to Walter Fletcher, touchdown, and the game's over. I mean, it just was one of those things. Again, the, all I can say is good teams find ways and, to yeah. win And I games. thought Calgary played a pretty, pretty good game. For, for They played not too bad. But again, once you all put the CFL on notice, this is the best team in the league. And when it comes to the Philpott twins, because they were playing each other for the first time on Saturday, it's the younger brother, Tyson, that gets yeah. the advantage over yeah. older brother, Jalen. Seven minutes separates the two of them. But yeah, it's the Alouettes getting the win where it matters most. Back to SportsCenter.